my Walking Dead fans. Doing something a little different now. We've been talking about doing this for a while. Uh, this is Tearson, and we are going to begin our playthrough of Telltale's The Walking Dead games. Starting right here, Season 1, Episode 1. As I mentioned, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. Looked like we weren't going to do it. Uh, there was some disputes uh, with uh, basically the fall of Telltale Games if they were going to finish the rest of Season 4, finish the game, uh, finish its story. But uh, there are people who are going to be helping to make that happen. So with that, we've decided to go ahead with this. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. So just a little, little bit of a rundown. I am playing on the PC uh, I am using a controller. I almost never do that on a PC, so this is going to be interesting in that regard too. Um, all right, I'm I'm excited. Let's uh, let's do this. Oh, standard, of course. All right, here we go. like the apocalypse has happened yet otherwise I'm sure he would not be bothering with uh, taking someone to jail well I reckon you didn't do it then Definitely not. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you kill. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> oh, you didn't say it. Any of that seem important to you? All of them. That box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, 
big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Officers are available for he's coming to one Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Well, Blabbermouth, let me tell you something. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say uh -oh. so. Uh-oh, watch it's out. Awesome. on the road, buddy. Well, I get a feeling it doesn't matter that he keeps his eye on the road anymore or not. He's dead. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. Okay. Ah, there we go. Careful of the glass. Cuffs off. Officer? God damn. Officer? of a dead guy. I suppose it's going to happen a lot. Okay, <laughs> I'm not doing so great so far. I died. Uh, 
Officer. All right, back it up. Back it up. That's what I didn't do last time. What in the hell? I think I saw a gun around here. There's a bullet. There we go. Grab that shell. Just stop. Back up. Oh, nice. Don't make me do this. All right. Five minutes in, and we're killing zombies. I love it. something in the car. Oh. That's what you get for yelling. Just like that. Shame that you didn't Hello? bring a shotgun. Anybody? I wonder if anybody's home. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg, the way it is. Hmm. up there no ladder <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway this leg the way it is fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could nah <laughs> he did just kill a man I suppose he's probably gonna want something to drink Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Yes, yeah, so let's leave that alone. Well, let's go see what's in the house. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! 
Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Oh, good, she stayed between the lines. Alright, well that's what you're supposed to do. It's fake, damn. Oh, boy. It's something bad there on the floor. Oh, Jesus. Somebody made a mess. I think it was a zombie. <coughs> really? <laughs> okay. Got some knives back there. That might be helpful. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Except for those knives over there by the stove. I know he said it's been ransacked, but still. What's that beeping? Why can't I grab the knives by the stove? There are three new messages. Mm. Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. That's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. I don't know, don't fall on the blood this time. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. 
Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh boy. I'm hitting me. You fell on the blood again, you jackass. Where is it? Oh, again. All right. One more good measure. Double tap that shit. Ew. Man. Hi there. I have a feeling that was the babysitter. Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but... That's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me. And we'll move as fast as we can. Oh, this is a good idea. Oh, there she goes. Let's see what's in the garage. Yes, no. I guess not. It's a little bothersome to me that he has not attempted to arm himself past grabbing that shotgun early on. And where's that hammer from before? Hmm. I found oh, hey, it. there it is. Are we going to die? No, I'm sure we're fine. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. Oh shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. 
Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's off the bitch. He's throwing him under the bus. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were... Oh shit! Hey. It's Chet! Let's go! Get to my car! Go! Aim for the head! Oh, okay! Or don't aim at all. What? Say hi to your dad. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care, you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No, you're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd you know, I thought happen? that was Herschel, but, uh... Jumping a fit. Running from something? Just like everybody else. What time He looks a lot different from the person? in from the TV show than his comic version. She's safe now. You're serious about taking care of her then. What choice is there? House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Before there were a bunch of walkers in it. It smells like... 
Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! Ah. He makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. You, you having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. 
back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Alright, so it says I need to check in with everyone, so it looks like I'm walking around a little bit here. There's a bunch of people. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! <sighs> Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, Dan. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Well, uh, not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Seems like those two are getting along. Can I head inside? I guess not. Hmm. Well, this is where we came from. Yeah, that's all I can do there. Did your daddy give you that hat? Mm-hmm. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Well, whether you do or not, she's a sweetheart. We saw some crazy shit getting here. The kind of stuff might mess up a little angel like that. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On well, the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. 
We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Okay, what else am I supposed to be looking at here? Wasn't letting me in the house. I haven't seen Herschel. Oh, no, there's Herschel. He was not there before. All right. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I'd follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. Timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh, had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Oh boy. Go! I'll get my gun! Save him. I gotta save him. Oh, done. I knew Herschel's son died, but there it is. I'm okay, Pop. <laughs> you look okay. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I...
Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. He certainly did. He ran off. You don't need to say anything. You tried. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Oh. That was Trucks stupid. Run out of gas. No, the zombie Fuck. is not friendly. Richard. Yeah, ditch this family. No, no, no. I believe that is Glenn. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my I didn't see him body. get bit. Well, that doesn't mean he didn't, hole. though. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And this you, is just gonna keep the escalating. Fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. 
We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. Which pretty much seals the deal for me. He's not We're wrong. I hope out. Duck isn't bitten. No! You don't touch that board. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> <laughs> He is always falling. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! <laughs> You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down. All that okay. noise. It's not just gonna go away. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, oh, boy. Uh. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. <laughs> My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible, so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. All right. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. 
Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. We'll sit tight. Okay. I don't know what I just picked up, but all right. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. See if we can give her the energy bar here. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. All right, gotta get into that drugstore. and stay out there. This door leads to the back alley. The first aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? 
No. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? <laughs> I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I guess let's finish moving the desk, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. You got a nice little cut on the underside here. That's where it hurts the most. We need a bandage for that, I think. Getting an infection might be a big deal now. What do you mean? Just might be tough to get a doctor for a little while. We need to keep you in tip-top shape. How about if I press here? Ow! Big owl or little owl? Um, medium owl. Okay, well, it's not broken. <laughs> Find anything? Trying to keep getting interrupted though. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Alright, let's get into that pharmacy area already. Hmm. 
kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. First aid kit. The pants came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Get the remote for that thing in here someplace. Ah, oh, come on. I'm missing it. Hmm. That's the mattress. Where is this thing? The pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. First aid kits. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's locked. Yeah. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. I think there was a band-aid in there. Luckily, there's nothing I nope. need in here. Even though I'd already been through there a couple times. Alright, let's go out here see what we can find. Lee, my finger still hurts. Ah, right. Uh, there's a first aid kit in here. <laughs> uh, yeah. There is. I've been to it a few times now. First aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Oh my gosh. First aid kit. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Okay, so there was the problem. I had the band-aid, which I thought, and it looks like what I do here is I apply it, which I'm going to do right now. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, there we please. go. All right, now I can move on. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you?
No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. All right. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Ha! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh... No, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey there. This is Glenn, and, uh... Kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and... Well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get yeah, Glenn, and call get them back zombies. Here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Yeah, but you gotta get into that pharmacy. That's still a thing. Hmm. Alright. your finger, Clem. 
Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. It's gonna need batteries, which I'll get from the remote, I bet. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. I meant to give her the remote. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Hmm. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. It's a combination lock. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Try to get in there and get weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. 
Let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. It's not damaged. And this place didn't get looted. Alright, let's go back in the office, see if we can find a combination or something. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're uh, gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, right? Cat, it's not our business. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. You let that boy die. I know, man. I know. What would it have taken? You free duck, you clear your head, and we get that tractor off his leg. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. Just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Sure, take another energy bar. Why not? All right. Let's see if we have any better luck this time. Take one more look in there. 
maybe the code's in there or something. I doubt it. Luckily, but there's nothing I need in yeah. here. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's go back out. Actually, hold on. The parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. I was thinking maybe the to be a hero, maybe. combination lock Detective is on the back of the picture or something that he left on there. That's a little too Resident Evil for, uh, for The Walking Dead, I think. Okay. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Alright, looks like he was having a bad moment there. Not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Okay. And there's nothing here. Looks like here. nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs their big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Let's go back out okay. there. showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I've got to knock that lock over there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're going to help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. I can't reach that brick. Maybe he can reach the brick. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Okay. I can't reach that brick. We break that lock off and I can get out onto the street. 
It's doing what locks do. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. We'll just hope the power is still on. Oh my gosh, we're getting you somewhere. Could just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Hmm. Now what? Things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. are on and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass something on the ground maybe wait did, wasn't there some kind of stick or something I had in the office maybe I could use that to grab the brick I don't know I guess we're going back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Let's write that cane. That's what I want. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have an option to grab it. mind I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse you got it okay what did I just grab a soda can or something No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards.
I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Alright, so I have some kind of can now. Maybe that'll help me get somewhere. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Can't reach that brick. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. It's a combination lock. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Hmm. Nope. Oh, so it is a battery. Great, thanks. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now 
Let's have a look around. Interesting. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Do something. We're going to need weapons. All right, let's head back over to the wall. Get some weapons first before we head back over there. We can hide by that pickup. Some attention. Be careful. Well, yeah, that's not gonna work. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Here's There's thing. a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. pillow to mask the noise of breaking the window, right? What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Hmm. Okay, maybe not then. That 
was sick. <laughs> All right. Scramble brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Driver, though. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cold. Oh, okay. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Right behind you.
Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. She's bit. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. <laughs> please. Just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know. That was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Remember him having a car. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and well yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Yeah, let's get to that. Hmm. Well, we have an axe now. How you doing, Quinn? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Ah, maybe that would be good use for the axe. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? 
Let's have a look around. Okay. I can't reach that brick. I still can't get the brick. Alright, well, let's try this. It's gonna make some noise, though. Awesome. Well, now right. to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. I still won't. Get the brick. <clears throat> Smash the window to the electronics store. Distract them. now, man. I got to do this. That was my fault. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! That was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. That's going to attract a lot of walkers. Oh, 
or maybe just the one. I've got a feeling it's a lot more than that, though. Yep. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Why is that door's not locked anymore? Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. Are you sure? Shit. Oh shit! Okay then. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Good time. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. That window is screwed. Go. Get it shut. I found something. Ah, oh, the cane. That's not gonna last forever, though. Oh, they're gonna make me choose which one to save again. Lose them both? <laughs> oh, that was it over. Oh, yep. I did not see the button to activate to save uh, Carly. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Citizens choose to stay in their homes. They are urged to be near their radios and 
Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an E, with attacks and rioting being reported in all three cities. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes and move towards the city of Charlotte, hmm. Atlanta. I wonder if he's ever going to find out what happened to his parents. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 9 I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe, but I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. I still don't trust Kenny. His fight or flight is not to my liking. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. Truth I is, you have the gun. I just wish we could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Hmm. Oh, that guy's in trouble. Was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. 
So, it can't really help us. But, I know. It's just, I need it. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. Huh. <laughs> That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Oh, it's not going to be okay at all. Oh, there goes the power. <laughs> All right. Oh, so you get a little preview here. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the babies. Oh, that's cool. You get some stats here at the end. Okay, well, there's episode one. Um, that that took a while. Uh, I definitely got lost a little bit as far as uh, trying to find everything and, uh, and get everything done here in the game. Uh, I apologize for that. 
Uh, I'm sure I'll get better at it as we go. I haven't played a game like this in a very long time, but uh, yeah, yeah, I can definitely see the charm to this uh, outside of the obviousness of it being part of The Walking Dead. Um, yeah, so you know, we'll we'll continue on with uh, episode two. I'm going to let the credits play through here. So that is going to do it for episode one. Uh, guys, if you got any tips or anything you'd like to share, go ahead and comment below. Let me know how you thought I did. Uh, again, I mean, I'm coming into this pretty much a novice. Never, I mean, I know a little bit about the story here. Like, I knew we were going to meet Herschel and Glenn at some point. Um, you know, I, I kind of kind of know how this plays out because, I mean, this game has been out for about six years now. So it's kind of hard not to, if you're a Walking Dead fan, to, to not know something about these games. But, um... Yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of sloppy there for the first episode. Hopefully, uh, you guys stuck through here. If you liked what we brought you, if you could subscribe and give us a like, that would be great. But yeah, we will be back for episode two. So until then, see you later. <laughs>